I didn't really consider programming um, for a while. Uh, I liked a lot of different topics in school, and uh, it wasn't until college that I started to really think about it. So um, it can be intimidating because uh, you know you'll meet other people who know I've been programming my programmable Lego robot since I was nine and all that stuff. So then you think, oh well, I might be horribly behind. But really, I mean, things change so much. Yeah, I mean, it's great if you can get that experience early, but. Um, you always are going to have to be learning new things, and you can never just learn and then be done. I feel like I took a slightly different path to computer science than maybe other people did. But so my background is in design. Um, I have a, a bachelor of design from Emily Carr University in Vancouver, and but I started doing web stuff before I went back to school. I think somewhere around eighth grade, when I first got introduced to computers, uh, I used to write basic programs. Uh, I know it's really backwards, but uh, it was in um, it was back in India. We had one computer lab, uh, and you would get timeshares. Uh, it would be like a one-hour course where you could just sit in the lab and just do whatever you wanted to do, and that was the most fun thing you could do uh, for the entire week. I would look forward to it, uh, and that's when I knew that I wanted to do uh, computer engineering and sort of uh, build on it. I was lucky enough to have a computer science class in my high school, so I got started relatively early and you know never looked back. <laughs> My name is Tanya. I'm a design engineer here at Airbnb. Uh, that actually means I work on both the design teams and the engineering teams. Uh, so that's a lot of fun. I actually get to do a lot of different things. My name is Jessica and I work here at Airbnb as a software engineer. My name is Alana. Um, and I'm a front-end engineer at Airbnb. My name is uh, Mona Gandhi. Uh, I'm originally from Mumbai, uh, but I've lived in San Francisco since 2007. Uh, I've been a first female engineer at four startups, uh, and this is my fourth one. My name is Amy Wabo, and I've been working here since February as a front-end engineer. My name is Becky. I'm a software engineer at Airbnb. Front-end engineer is um, somebody who is primarily concerned with um, translating the designs to the browser. And so that means um, programming the, the markup and the styling and the behavior, so the JavaScript. I was involved kind of in the project toward the end and I worked on the new homepage. Uh, and so I was able to do designs for it uh, and um, also I work on the code for it. So that's where my design engineering whole thing came in handy because um, I was able to, to do um, mockups and then also code, which was good because it was in a really short timeline, so there wasn't a lot of time to go back and forth. And of course I was working with other people and it wasn't like me in a room by myself working on this, but uh, it was it was really fun. And I like the combination of trying to figure out what something should be and then also building it. Right now um, I'm working on making um, Airbnb have more um, connections to like Facebook and um, other social media because travel is inherently like a, a social experience. Like um, you might wa want to tell your friends where you're planning your next trip so that um, any of them that also want to go there can come with you or you want to share your travel pictures with your friends. I'm working on the trust and safety team so I try to figure out who's going to commit fraud and um, try to keep bad people off the site and um, write models that will predict uh, who's going to be a good host and who might need contacts. Right now I'm, I'm working on this tool that, that helps um, guests and hosts facilitate changes to the reservation and, and you know it sounds pretty simple but there's, there's a lot of issues, a lot of edge cases, a lot of things you have to think about um, and to, to present all this information in a way that they can understand, you know, check-in, check-out dates, cancellation policies. I'm part of the growth team, uh, and what I focus on is how do I how do we sign up new users, both on the guest side as well as the host side. Uh, it's not only uh, to so those with those come challenges like how do we do that at scale? Uh, there, we are a global company. There's different languages, there's different cultures, there's different uh, expectations of what it means to be a guest, what it means to be a host, and just learning about these different cultures. Uh, connecting people, uh, doing these great things is so exciting and that's why I wake up every morning. This product that we're working on, I feel like we could change the world. I mean, it, it's kind of crazy to say it, but I feel like we're, we're changing the way people look at their possessions. We're changing the way that people interact with each other. Um, we're changing the way people travel. There are a couple of reasons why I love my job. Um, I get to work with some really smart people. Uh, I think that's uh, really a great part of engineering is uh, it attracts people who 
like to think about hard problems and solve puzzles. The people here are all really um, a great group. Uh, they really enjoy socializing together. The uh, atmosphere is really positive. It's not this sense of you know competition or cutthroat. People are really great about helping each other and just trying to find uh, a great, um, build a great product and find the best answer. Here it's a combination of not only product but also people uh, and the end users. Uh, it's a very design oriented culture as well and that helps you uh, see things in a different perspective and focus on things uh, a little bit more differently. And I like that. I, I enjoy uh, the attention to detail, I, I enjoy how much time the founders put into growing this culture and maintaining this culture. One of the things that I love about Airbnb is, is the marriage between great engineering and great design. Um, I've, you know, I, I've always liked design a lot, but just being around all these smart, creative people, it, it helps me think about a product, like what, what makes something great, what makes something easy to use, what makes something beautiful. One of the things I really like about Airbnb is there's a lot of room to kind of come up with good ideas. It doesn't have to be in your job description. Uh, there's still an entrepreneurial spirit and it's very much a startup that's willing to take risks. On Mondays, say we have a meeting at 10 o'clock every Monday and we go over what everybody's working on. Um, that's fun because you get to see what everybody else is working on, but it kind of gets you just organized for the week coming up too. We also have something called the Demo Days, which is very unique, uh, which happens every Thursday, once a week, uh, where we actually demo everything that we worked on. Uh, and then, uh, and these Demo Days are open for everyone uh, to, uh, to sit in. So it's not only on things that you have worked on, but if you are interested in another project and you want to keep up with what they're doing, you're, you're welcome to sit in those Demo Days. And uh, that's a fantastic medium to share your ideas. Once you write code, submitting it for a pull request, which is essentially having it reviewed by somebody else on your team. And that is, it's like an, a great way to learn because you get feedback from somebody who um, can look at your code and it, you know, either they have more experience or they're just looking at it with a fresh set of eyes and they can point things out that maybe you missed um, and that you can improve on. There's not really half credit in programming. If, if one small thing goes wrong, then the whole program won't compile. And this can be a very frustrating feeling. You can feel at that po point that you're just not smart enough to figure it out or you don't know enough about programming to keep going. Um, but everyone feels that way when they're programming. Um, the really important thing in those moments is to say, um, you know, this is a silly mistake and I understand that um, this is hard for me to figure out, but I am going to spend an hour or two making this work because at some point in time, everyone makes these oversights and everyone has to dig into to figure out what went wrong. No one will ever have um, knowledge of the whole field. You might feel like there are a lot of things that you don't know, but there are a lot of things that everyone doesn't know. Don't be intimidated and just follow your passion. It'll take you really far.